The National Commission for Civic Education, NCC, is calling for partnerships with civil society organizations and funding groups to drive home this year's general elections education campaign. Outlining programs for the campaign at a forum here in Accra, the chairperson, Josephine Nkrumah, said the 7 million cities budget cannot get the commission the desired result in terms of education. This year, the National Commission for Civic Education has lined up programs, including inter-party dialogue at the district and regional levels and parliamentary candidate debates for all 275 constituencies, among others. But, according to the Commission, it is still grappling with the age-long challenge of inadequate funding. Despite our best attempts and our best efforts, there's only so far we can go if we don't have the logistics we need to work. We need vehicles, we need motorbikes, in some instances even we need swimming equipment that allows us even canoes because some of our communities are even beyond our reach and we can only get there by going on canoes, we need to wear protective clothing as we travel. But these are critical things that we need as a commission, not just for election year, but also beyond election year. The chairperson said a budget of 7 million cities cannot get the commission the required results. It's important that we are retooled by the government so that we can become more effective. We don't have all the logistics and the, the, the funding to carry out as many programs that we, we leverage on that, we take advantage of it and we, re, we, we collaborate with CSOs to reach out to areas where we have deficits. So for us, we always look forward to such collaborations to enhance the work that we do, to strengthen the work that we do, and to reach as many more Ghanaians as we ought to. Josephine Nkoma is concerned about how to increase civic awareness among the youth to deepen democracy. For the NCCE, this year's educational drive is on the theme, The Future of Ghana is in Our Hands, would appeal to the hearts and minds of Ghanaians to put the country first.